Land is the center of life to native people. Most of our land has been taken and few of our people remain. In 1974, Congress passed a law ordering 10,000 Navajo off their land. Land, the government says, belongs to the Hopi tribe. Congress has ordered the Navajo to move by 1986, despite the protests of the traditional Hopi and Navajo people. Chairman, I'm here today to discuss the tragedy of relocating over 9,000 of my tribal people from the native homeland. More than 75% of the Navajo relocatees will be condemned to a life of misery, poverty, and alienation. Just how would you have any income if you're forced to, to, to move? Uh, do you have any other way of making a living other than livestock raising? I make my living with the sheep. You don't have to carry them on your back, you just herd them. This is how I live. I will not relocate. If I were offered a new home, I would be a stranger in such a place. I wouldn't know how to operate the heating or the lighting system. And the expense, I'm sure, would be tremendous. How would I pay for these utilities? I have no income and have never been to any school. Assuming we go through with this destructive effort, how and where would she be relocated on the Navajo reservation? Senator DeConcini, there is no place on the Na present Navajo reservation to which she can relocate to carry on the way of life that she has described. The United States government created reservations for the Navajo and Hopi tribes more than a century ago. Navajo lived near the Hopi villages long before the reservation line was drawn and the government allowed them to stay until now. Today, the government is spending one half billion dollars to partition the Hopi reservation between the two tribes and to move the Navajo out of the Hopi half. Most of the Navajo are being moved into border towns hundreds of miles from their homeland. Before moving, I was living very well. The sheep and the cows were like a bank. It was good when I relied on them. Now I fall into hunger. My shoes are all worn out, and that is the truth. Here I'm told to pay for everything, even the water. I owe taxes, too. I just suffer from all the bills. 11, 19 is your day. 10, 11, and 19 cents. Thank you. Have a nice day now. When Hostin learned that his Hogan had been deliberately burned down, he suffered a stroke. While he was in the hospital, his tracked house was repossessed for non-payment of taxes and utility bills. There is no word for relocation in the Navajo language. To relocate is to disappear and never be seen again. The old people of the earth tell stories. An old woman of the old ways, she said, Joy. 
extraordinary group of Americans uh, whose culture is fading it's under all sorts of pressures uh, which is attempting to adapt gradually which is making all sorts of compromises subject to all sorts of stress um, that now through this act of Congress is being it's being terminated it's being invalidated it's being forced to get off its center the land that's that's the integrating principle of the culture and I say why enormous quantities of minerals are buried here on the Navajo reservation alone lie 100 million barrels of oil, 25 trillion cubic feet of natural gas, 80 billion pounds of uranium, and 50 billion tons of coal, by conservative estimates. The energy corporations want the resources under Indian land, and if necessary, the native people will be sacrificed. Since before human memory, winds and waters have sculpted this sacred Indian land and shaped the landscape like no other on earth. For 150,000 moons, Indian prayers have bonded the land and sky. This was home, first for the Anasazi, stargazers and architects of antiquity. The Anasazi designed the blueprint for civilization in North America. Their descendants, the Hopi, are the oldest culture surviving today. The word Hopi means peace, and the Hopi have been a people of peace for thousands of years. The Hopis are a Pueblo people who live in villages atop the mesas that lie within the center of this disputed area. For centuries, they remained close to the mesas. They farm plots in outlying areas, never going very far from the mesas because they always needed to be able to return to the villages to participate in the ceremonial life of the tribe. The Hopi have always lived with religion as the heart of their culture, the axis around which all life turns. 